Okay, we're gonna get started on radial designs. I handed a sheet out to you and it looks like this. And I just wanna go over these, if you take a look at that sheet and kinda of read through them with me. Uh, first of all, uh, when you're coming up with your design, we've got some, some uh, guidelines for you. Okay, first you must have at least one 360 degree connection. In other words, you have to have something that connects 360 degrees. You can't just have a bunch of floating objects, okay? You may have some floating areas. So if you take a look at this design here, there's a couple things that float. There's this sort of eagle-like shape that's floating in four spots. And then there's a, the central uh, center of interest. I've got a little logo that looks like a G, and that's floating in the area here. So you can have some areas that are floating, but you must have something that connects 360 degrees, okay? Uh, you must have your name or initials incorporated somewhere. So in this particular one, uh, you'll see I've got a little design here, and this is a letter G. This was my original drawing. If you take a look at the sheet that's connected, uh, the G looks like this. So it's kind of like a little character I made into a G, uh, kind of a tribal thing with little points coming off it. That's my logo that I put in the middle here. Now your logo doesn't necessarily have to be in the middle. Like for example, this person did their initials in sort of a Chinese style and it's repeated in four different spots on here, okay? So it doesn't have to be in the middle. Uh, you cannot have more than five colors, black and white are included. So if black, white, you can have three more colors. You can have gradients of colors though. Uh, this is printed in black and white, but if you'd see it, it's got some gradients of yellow, like it goes from light yellow to dark yellow and so on, and it's got goes from red, dark red to light red. I'd consider those one colors when you have a gradient, okay? Uh, you may have representational images. So in this case, this actually has a, a peacock here, okay? Uh, in this case, it's got this like eagle character here. So it's representational. It looks like something as opposed to just a design, okay? But it doesn't have to have representational images. Contrasted colors are a must. You don't want to have colors like uh, black surrounded by navy blue because black and navy blue are low contrast. They're almost the same. You got to have colors next to each other that stand out. So this this one I particularly liked. I like, you can't tell this is a black and white print, but what was nice was this was uh, yellow next to a black. This was yellow and faded to white, which made this yellow stand out a little bit more. This was yellow and faded to red, which was nice is because this peacock up here was dark and the leaves on the, the little uh, feathers on the peacock down here are light and they stood out nice on the red background. So think about colors that contrast, okay? There must be a center of interest that stands out. Something, you have to have some center of interest, something that stands out because of different size, shape, or color. Now in this particular one, it would be the peacock. It's different than everything else, okay? On this one, it happens to be this logo here, which is a letter G, okay? So uh, you have to have something that stands out, but it doesn't necessarily have to be in the center. I know these two examples, the center of interest is in the center, doesn't have to be in the center. You might have, let's say that maybe all these eagles, let's say, were, uh, were red, and then all of a sudden you have one eagle up here that's blue. So that would be your center of interest, that one thing that stands out because it's different size, shape, or color, okay? So if you turn your uh, page over onto the second page now. Who's got one I can find out? Okay, so a couple things. This is what you're going to be doing. If you look on the back page, I guess if you look on the back page, you're gonna see what you're gonna be doing is designing a quarter of the design. So these are just little sketches I came up with. And you can see if this is a quarter of the design, if I attach the quarter to a half and a half to a whole, it's gonna end up looking like this. So by planning your quarter out, you have an idea what the final one is gonna look like, okay? So this happens to follow kind of a round shape. So therefore, when you're done, this looks round, okay? Now this design here, we've got this big sort of wing or fin type thing sticking out. Okay, and if you would imagine, if you put that into four corners, it's gonna look sort of like a fan or a pinwheel type shape, okay? And this design happens to be a square, or uh, it's got a 90 degree angle here. So if you have four of those, it's gonna end up being uh, a square, got that? So radial design doesn't necessarily mean it has to be round. Keep that in mind, okay? 
This one looks round, but this one looks like a fan or a pinwheel, and this one looks like a square. So it really could be kind of any shape, but they all have a 360 degree connection, okay? Something that connects. But these, if they were final designs, there's too big of an empty space in the middle right here. So we have to have something filling that space up. That could be another 360 degree connection here or in here, or it could be a large center of interest, something that's floating in the middle, a logo or a representational image, something like that, okay? So what we're gonna be doing is this. Um, if you take a look at this sheet, right now your sheet looks like this, okay? And to describe what it is, this is the design that I used to do this final design here, okay? So what I did was I designed these two little triangles. See triangle A and triangle B, okay? This is triangle A. If I lay this over the top, you'll see it's the exact same thing, okay? So what you're gonna be doing is making two triangles, okay? And then you're gonna have, the, actually the triangle be one big triangle and you're gonna cut it in half and then you're gonna move this triangle over to this side. Okay, and you're gonna make sure that it connects. So in this case, you can see that it connects. So if it connects, then they keep repeating. So you got A, B, A, B, and so on until they connect 360 degrees. So basically, you're designing this one quarter triangle just like this sheet shows right here. You're designing this quarter. Got that? Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. So what you're gonna be doing here is this. You're going to be taking a regular sheet of paper, okay? And I think I got one right here. So you got a regular white sheet of paper and you're gonna be making a pie shape. Let me show you how to make that pie shape. So what we're gonna do is this. Um, we're gonna be taking this edge and folding it up to this edge. So I'm gonna take this and I make a perfect corner or crease in the corner. I'm gonna line up that edge, line this up perfectly and then fold it like this, okay? So you can see what I did here. I folded this side over to here. Now up here, I'm just gonna cut that off so it looks like a big piece of pizza, okay? So up here, I'm gonna cut that off. I end up with this shape that looks like a piece of pizza, okay? So when I open it up, I've got two pieces of pizza. Got that? So I've got a slice of pizza right here. Okay, now, earlier you did some kind of a design and mine is over here someplace, see if I can find it here, here it is. Okay, if you remember, last time when I did a demonstration I showed how I came up with this half of a design and then on a light box I traced through here to get the other half. That way I open it up and I've got this cool looking tribal image. Okay, now what I wanna do is I want this tribal image to be down here inside this piece of pie. Got that? I want that image to be on this piece of pie. Now you could do that one of two ways. You could lay your piece of pie over the top like this and on a, piece, on a light box you could retrace it onto this pie. Got that? Or you could lay your pie over the top like this, and there happens to already be a crease here. I'm gonna lay that on that crease. I'm gonna lay my pie over the top, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trace the edge of the piece of pie, except my pencil just broke. No, here it is. Okay, so I trace the edge of the piece of pie like that, and this edge right here, Okay, so essentially I just created a new piece of pie right there. Now I know on this particular uh, thing you can't see it very well, so I'm just gonna darken it in. I'm just gonna... Yours you wanna do really light. I'm only darkening in for demonstration purposes so you can see it on the screen right now. Okay, now I'm gonna fold that and I'm gonna cut right on that line again. Actually, I'm going to cut on the line right like this. So I'm going to cut right on this line. Okay. And I'm going to cut right on this line.
Okay, so there's my piece of pie, but the top is a little uh, funny looking here. So I'm gonna fold that and then arch it like it was a piece of pizza before. So I'm gonna go like this. So there's my piece of pie there. That's part of the design. But now picture when you look at, um, oh, where is it? When you look at these, you can kind of see, you know, like you can picture what this is gonna look like. If I repeat this four times, I'm basically just gonna have four floating things. I don't want four floating things. I want something that somehow connects all the way around. Got that? So this is how I'm gonna connect it. Watch this. I'm gonna fold this up. Now, once, oh, before I do that though, you can picture that there's gonna be an empty space in the middle here, okay? So maybe I'll put my logo or my design or my representational image in that center part. But what I have to do is I have to figure out a way to connect these, okay? So what I'm gonna do right now is this. On the back side where there's a crease, I'm just gonna take my pencil and draw a line in the crease here. And the reason I'm drawing a line in the crease is so I know where to cut. Because sometimes when you open this up and you flatten it out, it's hard to see where that crease is. So I just drew a line there, okay? Uh, matter of fact, let me cut, turn the lights off just for a second. Okay, I feel see that just a little better. So, where's the light? Okay, so I drew a line right in the middle here. Okay, now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut that, this shape in half. So basically I'm cutting this design in half. Right down the center, try to be real careful to do it correctly right to that very point, okay? So you can see what I did is I just split my design, okay? Now, I'm gonna take a piece of tape and I'm gonna shift this design over to this side. Now when I do that, make sure you, you, mark, you line up this point perfectly. I don't care about this top edge at all because if I cut this crooked, the top edge might look like that. All I care about is this center point right there. So I'm gonna tape that together. So I'm just gonna take uh, just a, two pieces of tape just temporarily here. So I'm gonna just take a little piece of masking tape. Just two pieces of tape should do it. They don't even have to be very big. And on the back of this, I'm gonna put the tape on the back right there. Okay, I'm gonna flip that over. I'm gonna line up these corners again. Let's zoom in just a little bit here. Okay. So I'm gonna line up these corners, this corner right here. I'm gonna line it carefully over the top of the tape. And then I'm gonna push it down. So this point lines up perfectly. Now what I need to do is figure out some way to connect these. How am I gonna connect this design to that design? So what you could do is you might say, you know what? I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna, to, to come up with more of a tribal look here, I'm gonna have another wave coming right off of here, like that, and maybe I'll have something coming off of, oop, something coming off of here. Okay, so I just drew that. I'll take my eraser and I'll erase that little spot, okay? Then on a light box, what I'm gonna do is on the light box, I'm gonna lay this down, okay? And I'm gonna retrace that thing. So I don't have a light box right here, but you can see I'm gonna retrace this right over here. Got that? Now since I don't have a light box, and I don't wanna waste your time trying to look for a light box right now, um, and my lead pencil just lead just broke. Anybody got a pencil they could throw me just for a second? It's a race. I need a pencil. Oh, you got one? Let me take one in case one doesn't work. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is this. On the light box, I would trace this thing right here. Okay, I would trace that right over here. Now, since I don't have a light box, I'm just gonna draw it freehand. You won't do this, but this would kind of come up like that. This piece kind of comes over like this. Okay, 
and then this would get erased, and this would get erased right in here. And you can see now that I would have a design that connects 360 degrees. You guys follow me on this? So I just came up with a way to connect that was consistent with my style, okay? So now I know it connects here, and I know if I take this and put it back where I originally was before I cut it, I know that would connect there. So I just came up with a design, my, my little uh, quarter of a circle, my 90 degree corner, and now I'll be able to repeat that just like this thing. It'll repeat you know, here and there and there and there all the way around 360 degrees. Got that? Now I know when I get it together though, I'm gonna have some kind of a big empty spot in the middle here, because I can predict that. I can see this spot here, that's gonna be repeated four times. So I'm gonna have a big empty spot, and that might be my perfect spot for putting my center of interest, uh, my representational image, my logo, whatever it is you wanna put in the middle there, okay? So when you look at that sheet that I handed out to you that has those shapes that are on there, Okay, get that real quick for you. So what you're gonna do here is you are going to end up with um, this piece of pie. And in my case, I have a floating image here and I also have a center of interest here. We are gonna photograph that with your camera that you have on your phone, okay? And if you don't have one, you can use mine and we're gonna send it to your email. Once it's in email, we're gonna open it up, we're gonna download it on a computer, and then we're gonna open it up in Photoshop. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna connect this on the computers and uh, add all the colors. Got that? So what you're working on today is that design. Whatever you design you came up with, remember you're drawing it just any place on a piece of paper. Then you're folding this piece of pie and you're laying that over the top and you're tracing over that line. Then once that happens, you're cutting the triangle in half, moving it over to the other side and figuring out a way to connect it. Okay? Now a couple things. Make sure when you draw that your lines are consistent. Like for example, this is nice and flowing and smooth. You know, I, want, I don't want to make a, a, a line that's like, you know, all kind of crooked and, you know, inconsistent like that. Nice, smooth, and, in, and consistent. If you're drawing something that's really geometric, then take a little ruler or a straight edge. I can give you one so you can draw straight lines, okay? If you would want to make a design that's really round, okay, you could do this. You could take your pie shape like this, okay, and you might take a compass, and over here in these little drawers, I've got some compasses that you can use, okay? And what you might do, let's say you're doing an Egyptian design. And I'm thinking I want a design that's kind of like a band going across here with some designs in that. So what you might do is take a compass after you fold your paper and lay that point right there. And then you might draw like a half circle like that. Okay, then I'll draw another half circle Actually, it's a quarter of a circle, like that. Now, you can see these lines are pretty light, okay? They're pretty light, so they might be my guidelines, since they're, they're light for a reason, because I want to be able to draw some things in there and erase some things, okay? So maybe I end up taking my compass and drawing another line here, and I make some kind of a border. And maybe another line right here with my compass. I'm just doing it freehand so it goes a little faster. And then I decide that in here, I want to make these uh, little Egyptian-like shapes. So maybe I'll just kind of put some guideline marks. I'll say right there's one, right there's one. So these lines are just guidelines right now, okay? So maybe I've got a, a, a shape that comes up here like this and comes down there, and then this shape comes up like this and comes down there, and this one comes up like this and then comes down here and so on, okay? Now I know those three shapes, and inside there is going to be some other kind of a design that's in here. 
Actually, I'm drawing it freehand, so it's kind of sloppy, but you get the idea. Now, what I might do is go, okay, I'm gonna have this one come up here, right to that point. Now, I know I want these to repeat, so once again, I'll take this on the, um, I'll take this on the, the light box, and I'll repeat these same designs right over here. That way I've got this repeating design that's going all the way around. Got that? Then you'll do the same thing with this. Maybe you'll cut this in half and move this over here and figure out a way to connect it. Now this might be one row of designs, but maybe you want another row. Maybe in here you've got some other, other band that's going like this and you might draw that with a compass as well. But then in here it's got some other Egyptian-like shapes because that's your theme. So in here it's got some, I don't know, papyrus or some kind of a, an eye in here or something like that. And you got another eye in there. And obviously these are sloppy and kind of fast, but you get the idea, okay? So I've got this design and then maybe there's something in here that repeats up there. Okay, now you can see this is gonna be a totally round design and I'm gonna have this big space in the middle. So maybe in the big space, you got like an Egyptian eagle or something in the middle there. Got that? But you still have to have your initials someplace in here. Now, where might you put those? Let's say your initials were CG like me. Maybe you've got a C up in here, and then maybe you've got a G right like this. So inside that design, C and G is repeating all the way around. So you've incorporated your initials, but it's not like this one where the initials were so, uh, where this thing was so uh, big and obviously in the center of my design. Got that? Any questions? So once again, uh, work on your design, do the triangle, somehow fit it in the triangle, cut the triangle in half and move it over. Do all this in pencil, okay? Then eventually what you're gonna do is we're gonna draw over this with a Sharpie or we're gonna redraw it with a Sharpie on another sheet of paper by tracing it so it's nice and clean. We're gonna take a picture of it, we're gonna get it in the computer. Any questions of that at all? Okay, so that's what we're working on today. In a sh little while later, we're gonna go on the computer lab and we're gonna get you set up in there. But for right now, let's just work at your table on that scrap paper that I gave you. If you need any more uh, clean sheets of paper, I've got some up here on my desk. Got that? Okay, that's it.